This is boring, but it got us to the first page of Google in under seven days, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in under five minutes, so let's go. First of all, you need to understand how ranking on Google works. In essence, Google uses an algorithm to match websites with Google searches, and it ranks these websites based on how good or bad of a source of information Google thinks it is. So a website that Google thinks is a good source of information will rank at the top, and a website that it thinks is a bad source of information will rank at the bottom. But it's not that black and white. It's less about how good or bad of a source of information your website is, it's about how good it is compared to the top websites trying to rank on that Google search. For example, if you try to rank for the keyword Apple iPhone, you're not getting anywhere close to the first page because you're competing against websites like Apple. But if you try to rank for the keyword local iPhone 16 repair shop near me, you have a much better chance of getting to the first page for that search. And that's exactly what we're doing here finding low competition keywords that get a lot of searches and creating good content around that topic so Google sees your website as the best source of information for that thing. And as a result, you rank on the first page of Google. So here's how we do it. The first step is finding low competition keywords with a high search volume. So to do this, you're gonna to go to semrush.com, which I'm right here, sign up for a free trial and then come to the keyword magic tool. What you're gonna do is enter in your keyword into the search engine here. For the page that we got to the first page of Google, I'm gonna be using that as the example for this video to show you how it's done. But you can replace the keywords that I'm using with the keywords for your industry. So the first step is searching up an umbrella term for your industry. So what I did, instead of searching up drywall installer SEO, I just searched up SEO, so a very broad term. What it'll do is populate a bunch of different keywords around that broad term. You're gonna filter by the keyword difficulty and this is gonna filter out the most competitive keywords and you're gonna find the lowest competition one. So as you can see, the keyword difficulty here is zero to rank for these keywords. So it's gonna be extremely easy. These are the easiest keywords to rank for. And to the left of that column, you can see the volume. This is how many searches approximately this keyword gets per month. Look through this list and pick out five to 10 of the best keywords that you'd wanna show up on the first page of Google for that again, have a low difficulty to rank for. You'll then put them into a Google Sheet, each of the keywords that you've picked and their search volume, and then total up the total amount of searches approximately that those keywords get every single month. So you ideally wanna have this number be above 500. If it's above 500, you've got a good amount of keywords that will get you enough searches and enough visitors on your website to get leads from. If you get 10 keywords and the total search volume for all those 10 keywords adds up to 100 or 200, chances are you're probably not gonna get too much traffic to your website from ranking for all those keywords. And if I take any of these keywords and I search them up into Google, you can see that our website comes up at the very top of that Google search. Next is writing the content for that page that we're gonna get to the first page of Google. You can use this using ChatGPT, which is what we do, and this is the prompt that you wanna use. We are an SEO agency for local drywall installers, and you would replace this with whatever you do for your business and whoever you serve. We help drywall installers get to the first page of Google so they can become more visible to customers and get more leads as a result. Replace that with whatever you do and whatever value you provide for your customers. I'm writing a blog for drywall installers to give them a full SEO tutorial from start to finish. I want you to write me a 1500 to two word extensive editorial for them using these as the main keywords. And then this is where you copy and paste the keywords that you've chosen in here. Now this can be a blog that you write or a landing page, it doesn't matter. It could be either or, but in either case, you wanna optimize the content for these keywords using ChatGPT. So you prompt it with this and then it gives you the full blog post or landing page if that's what you're doing. If I wanted to make it a landing page, I could say make this into a landing page with headings and paragraph sections as needed. And then as you can see, it makes it into a full landing page instead of a blog with landing page material. So once you have your desired content and you've copy and pasted it onto a website page or a blog, you're gonna upload that page to Google Search Console. What you do is come to Google Search Console and upload your property if you don't already have it in here. You'll then copy and paste the new page URL you just created into the top search bar in your property. It'll then load, and you can see here, it shows me that this URL is on Google, which is what I wanna see, but if this is a new page, it won't be on Google yet. So what you wanna do is click Request Indexing. It'll take a sec to load here, but once it's done, it'll request the indexing, and you'll come back in two to three days to make sure that it properly worked. And if it doesn't, you'll just do that process over again. And the final step is just wait. Give it three to five days to see where that page is ranking on Google, and if it's not on the first page yet, which it should be if you follow these steps, then go back, add some more content to that page, 
add more keywords in there, add some internal links to that page on your website so it can be more readable by Google. And if you can, get some backlinks to that page. Hope you guys got value from this video. And if you did, leave a like below and I'll catch you in the next one.